It's been good. He's a very, very hard worker. Obviously, a special, you know, a special talent. Um, you know, great guy. And uh, so it's been, it's been, you know, fun working with him, um, getting to know him, um, and just kind of going out there and you know working together. Is there something you learned from him that you didn't know about him before you got here? I mean, what's kind of the biggest thing? Nah, you know, you just when you know when you don't know a person, um, and you're on the other sideline from a person, you're not sure, um, you know, what kind of personality they have, um, you know, what kind of player he is, but. Um, for him to have a you know great personality and to fit the kind of player he is, and for those two to go hand in hand, I think that's special. I think it's very rare for you to find guys of his caliber um, and his style of play, um, but to be humble and go out there and, and you know and have a good mindset and outlook on you know football and things outside of football. So I think that's been cool to see um, and getting to know him. It's a pretty common place like in today's NFL. And I mean, I know you did it in Minnesota to walk into any offense and feel like you got to find a way to be able to split carries with another back, just just the way that the NFL is trending right now. Yeah, I definitely think that's, you know, when you just look around the league, that's kind of, um, that's been a trend, as you say. And so um, I think what's most important is just, you know, for, um, for a back, you know, and as a back to, um, you know, bring to the table what you can bring um, and just be you. I think, you know, you, you know, there's different guys that can do different things. Obviously, Alvin does some things you know, different, better than I, than I can do. Um, but I know what I can bring to the table. And so, um, you know, being confident in that and knowing what I can bring to the table and doing the things that I can do well, um, you know, that's where I can you know, have some peace at and feel good about what I can bring to the offense. Do, do you and all the other former Vikings like all have one floor of an apartment complex or what, how did you guys just get together on Thursday nights or something? <laughs> you mean the running backs? All, all the former Vikings. All the former Vikings. Right. We do got a lot of them right here. Um, it just honestly, it feels good to, you know, for everybody to not be um, new faces to me, you know what I mean? And to, to see some familiar faces. So that's kind of helped the transition. Um, you know, to go along with that question I asked earlier. So it feels good to see Marcus and Nick, you know, you know, two guys that I just was with last year. So, um, um, and, and then really feels good to be in the huddle with Nick uh, well, again. And what about Teddy? I mean, is it great to see Teddy, him out yeah, here Teddy doing everything? Well, after yeah, after Teddy, after. obviously Teddy is a year from removed. Yeah. So um, I had kind of got into that mindset. Teddy was the enemy there for a minute, but <laughs> now I got to get used to calling him my teammate again. So, uh, but no, it's good to be back out there with Teddy. Um, you know, see him again. You know, we always talk about what he's come from and what he's overcome and the things that he's done, and then you know him getting another contract here. Um, you know, he's well deserved another. When you talk about what you can bring to the table, could you just give us in your own words exactly what you mean by that? Yeah, well, I'm a downhill runner. Um, and I think, you know, as you know, you're going to see Alvin, you know, split out and, and doing a lot of things out of the backfield. And uh, not say that, that I can't do those things or I won't. Um, right now, everybody's learning everything. Um, and I need to know those things. But, you know, knowing what I do and that's, you know, between, between tackles, downhill, um, you know, scoring when I'm, when I'm down there, um, getting tough yards, protecting the quarterback. You know, those are things that I pride myself in, and um, and those are things that I've done well. And so, in order for me to stay around and be successful, I know I got to continue to do those things well um, and get better at um, the rest of the things as I go. Is well, this offense kind of what you're similar what you you've learned in the past, or is there, is there differences? Or I definitely think it's similarities. Um, I think uh, this playbook is. Um, Probably, I could say maybe a little more open book as far as the amount of things that we can do. The, I'm sure the game planning that goes in, especially when you got a quarterback like we do. Um, so um, I don't think anything's off limits. Um, it's, and at any position, I'm seeing the, just the playmakers that we have. So um, I would say you know, a lot of similarities, but we have a lot of weapons and obviously a quarterback that um, you know, doing everything. What is it like to um, to come to come in on the heels of a vacancy created by a very successful and popular player like Mark Ingram? I don't know how much you know about him or heard about him since you've been here, but how do you kind of approach that? Do you ignore it? I mean, it's obviously not fair because you're different players mm -hmm. to compare directly, but fans will tend to kind of look at it that way. How do you approach? Yeah, I think that's human nature for 
fans or anybody to compare us because obviously you know a, a very good running back you know leaves and you know we have to fill that void obviously right so uh, but as far as me and Mark's relationship Mark's been a friend of mine for you know some time now um, and so I separate football between you know everything else and so that's going to be a friend first but you know what my job is to come in here and do what I can do um, and provide for this team what I can provide and so there's no added pressure when it comes to that like I said earlier I know what I'm capable of and I believe they do as well and that's why I'm here um, so to think about uh, replacing someone I don't think it is you know as that I can't um, I think as they brought me in because um, they feel that I can help what were just your your own personal emotions like leaving <clears throat> Minnesota and then you know getting a deal here and I'm sure it was probably kind of a whirlwind when it yeah. first happened with from then to now like it is where was your head space? Yeah, well, you know, when <clears throat> Minnesota, um, obviously they came to me last year um, and, uh, you know, asked me to take a pay cut. And I did, but I just, I wanted to have the opportunity, you know, okay, hey, since if, um, you know, this is going to be the situation, let me get a chance to go out and you know, maybe see what's out there uh, next year, just so I wouldn't be caught in the same situation. Um, and so, you know, once the season was over, I think, you know, maybe even similar to my first round of free agency, you just there's a lot of uncertainty. You really, you really don't know. There's a lot of teams that have interest, but I can sit here and tell you the teams that had interest early on disappeared. You know, when it come down, when it came down to it, um, and I won't say disappeared, but you just again. So once, uh, once I got the call uh, from New Orleans, I mean, there, there was no more talking that needed to be done other than hey. This is a place that I want to be for sure, um, and let's make it happen. So, um, you know, no love lost. I had a great time there. Very, very good season. Don't want to bring it up um, <laughs> the year before, but uh, you know, I enjoyed my t time there. Great locker room, great staff, um, and, and much like here, to be honest. So when New Orleans reached out, there was no like flirting like early like. Nah, not season, not season. really. I mean, look at what team we're talking about. You know, if I'm being honest, you know, I could, if you're comparing to a team that haven't been right there in the past few years, like a team like this, then, you know, if if it's a team that's similar, then yeah, you you discuss that, you decide. But you know, this is uh, a place that's been competing for a championship. Um, in the past few years and been very, very close. And for me, going into year seven, that's what it's all about. I mean, um, I made some you know, good money, um, got a family, um, but you know, I want a ring at the end of the day and uh, you have to think about that when you're uh, you know, choosing a team to go out there and do it with. Talk about you and Alvin having some distinct strengths. Um, a backfield that can do a lot of different things between you two. Where did, what are some of the benefits of having two guys that can, uh, you know, kind of attack the position in a different way? Um, I think you know, just as they did last year, when you could get two running backs on the field um, at the same time. I think that's obviously, um, you know, hard to defend when you get Dalvin. Or sorry. Alvin, you gotta get used to that. <laughs> <laughs> that won't be the, that won't be the last time, I promise. Um, wow, uh, when you get Alvin uh, out there on space against some linebackers, and then here I'm in the backfield, and the team don't know if you're gonna hand the ball off or throw it to you know one of the guys out there. So um, I just think things like that, um, which you know Coach Payton has done, you know for some time now. Um, Things like that are just hard to defend. And again, that's, it's just my job to make sure I'm doing what I do best um, so that I'm involved in those situations and I can continue uh, to make them an advantage for us. It's early, but what's different about Drew and other quarterbacks you've been around just going through even though these, these are OTAs? Um, well, he just told me this was his 19th season. Uh, never heard that before. <laughs> um, uh, the quarterback he played with um, in San Diego, um, what's his name? Doug Flutie. Doug Flutie. Doug Flutie. I said, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 
He was drafted in 01 and I was 11 years old. So, um, first up, that's different. His, you know, you know, he's a, a true vet. You know, a lot of guys talk about being a vet. He's a true vet. Um, and I think he knows his offense like the back of his hands. And I almost think I can almost just do what Drew says and I'm not going to get in trouble in, in a sense. Whereas that's usually not half the case. So, um, but it's just been, you know, it's been great uh, just to be out there working with him, learning a little bit so far that I have from, um, I guess, and just getting into his mind and kind of seeing how he sees the game and him just letting you know, like, hey, there's you know, we've got a lot of, you know, options to go out there and attack the defense. And, you know, he's going to do the best to, you know, help me out out there to make sure we're on the same page. So, um, but it's been, it's been good. I mean, I, words can't really explain, to be honest. Did you learn much about New Orleans or the Saints from your friendship with Mark? And how far back does that friendship go? Um, <clears throat> me and Mark trip, took a trip, uh, the USO tour, uh, what was that, the last off season? But I've, I've, I've known Mark for some years back when I was, I believe when I was in Oakland and we were training in, uh, we trained in uh, Miami once a few times. So you know, we're talking, what, five years ago or so? Um, and so uh, I might have forgot your question initially. Oh, is, <laughs> had you learned much about New Orleans or the Saints from uh, your friendship? Other, yeah, other than that, we, you know, we hadn't really talked about the team and whatnot, but I did reach out once I signed and, uh, and just told him, first off, I was happy for him and his new deal and his new team. Um, which is a really good team, you know, and uh, he just told me to, you know, hit him up if I needed any, you know, advice, anything around the area, um, and just told me that I would love this locker room and, and love the guys in there, and he said that, um, you know, that's one thing that he, he for sure I would enjoy about this team, um, and, and, and I felt that too since I've been here. Thank you very much.